Consider the following curve. Now write an equation for the line tangent to the curve for the point 4 comma negative 1. There is a number k so that the point 4.2 comma k is on the curve. Using the tangent line found, approximate the value of k. We are being asked to create a linear approximation centered at x equals 4 for the following curve. Now there are two things that we need for a tangent line. We need a point, which has been given to us, 4 comma negative 1, and we need a slope. Now to find the slope, we have to take the derivative implicitly of this curve. So let's do this. We've got negative 16x plus 5. We have to use product rule here. The derivative of the first is 1 times the second is y plus the first x times the derivative of the second is dy over dx plus 3y squared times dy over dx because remember y is stuff and the derivative of stuff cubed is 3 stuff squared times the derivative of the stuff and this is all equal to 0 because the derivative of negative 149 is just 0. Let's distribute the 5. We have negative 16x plus 5y plus 5x times dy over dx plus 3y squared dy dx is equal to 0. Now let's move everything that doesn't have a dy dx to the right hand side. And we'll also factor out the dy over dx on the left hand side. So here we have dy over dx times 5x plus 3y squared. We'll move over the negative 16x plus 5y yielding positive 16x minus 5y. And now we can divide everything by 5x plus 3y squared. So dy over dx is equal to 16x minus 5y over 5x plus 3y squared. And of course we want to find the derivative at the point given to us which is 4 comma negative 1. So we'll plug in 4 comma negative 1. 16 times 4 minus 5 times negative 1 is plus 5 over 5 times 4 plus 3 times negative 1 squared is just 3. 16 times 4 is 64 plus 5 is 69 over 5 times 4 is 20 plus 3 is 23 and so the slope of this tangent line at the point 4 comma negative 1 is 3. We can now create our linearization we have y minus y1, which is plus 1, is equal to 3, our slope, times x minus 4. This means that f of x is approximated by l of x, which is equal to negative 1 plus 3 times x minus 4. Now they want us to use our linear approximation to approximate the value of k, which is the y value at x equals 4.2. So we're going to plug 4.2 into our linear approximation and then solve for k. This means that f of 4.2 is approximated by l of 4.2 which is equal to negative 1 plus 3 times 4.2 minus 4 is 0.2. 3 times 0.2 is 0.6 minus 1 is negative 0 0.4. And we have now estimated the value of k, which is the y value that corresponds with the x value 4.2. Finally, I've actually graphed this curve using wolframalpha.com. Now, at x equals 4, y equals 1, negative 1, 
here is the point four comma negative one. When we created that linear approximation, we found the tangent line at this point. We then used it to approximate what happens at x equals 4.2. Now we got negative 0 0.4 as our estimation. However, in reality, it's y equals negative 0.382, which is approximately uh, 1 50th away. That's a very good approximation. And so that is the picture of what we just did.